bhavatu sahana bhunatu sahaviram karavabhai tejasvinavaditamastu Mavibhishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hare Om Namaste We are here with a very special guest the Parati Yoga Festival 2 Superstar, Bibi McGill. Wow. Thanks for sharing your time with us and your good vibrations, your great vibrations. Thank you, Tiago. And uh, we are going to start with this interview with the beginning, the Mesharashi, the Aries process. Where did you start to get in contact with yoga or meditation or whatever? How, when, how did this start? Bibi, please. Well, I was also always into esoteric things, spiritual things, otherworldly things, and had been an interested in the body and the energy in the body for a long time. But my life was very busy, and it wasn't until 1996, when I quit my job, yes. that I actually didn't have anything to do. So I thought, ah, oh, this is going to be the perfect time for me to try yoga because I've always wanted to. Went to a yoga class, that was it. It changed my life and I always knew that yoga would be an important part of my practice and from there I got more into you know, Hinduism and New Age and metaphysics and Buddhism and all sorts of you know, different practices. And it was a specific kind of yoga, was Hatha Yoga, what was this first contact? Um, in the beginning I, I did all kinds of yoga. Where I practiced, they had Kundalini Yoga, they had Anusara Yoga, they had Hatha Yoga. So I did a little bit of everything. Right. And uh, in the second step, we go to Taurus, uh, Rishabharashi. How did this start to change your life, your values, your, the way you see, you perceive the world? How did this start, this um, process of becoming a new person there? I feel like I um, had new eyes and I had a clear mind so I could see diff things differently and I started to notice differences in my environment and within my body. I noticed how certain foods affected me, made me feel low, how certain foods made me feel up and high. I noticed how alcohol was an agitation and it made me very slow. So I limited my alcohol. I limited um, um, animal products, dairy and meat. And I did things that made me feel good. And this feeling good, how was this feeling good experience? Was just like being more center, was just like being more peaceful. What was this effect of yoga coming from your food, from your practice? How you start to feel the difference of the practice of yoga? A lot of different feelings. I was grounded. I was more grounded. I felt my feet firm. Your vata happy. Yes, yes. yes. More grounded, more aware, more clear, uh, more light. Uh, more starting to understand my life and the world more. More and more and more and more and more and more. Great. And the third step now, we go to Gemini, Mitunarashi. Where was the place where this started to expand, to uh, see other people, maybe music? Where did you start the music process? Because maybe we're going to speak a, bit, a little bit of music also. How this a yoga practice that you were just like saying, okay, this is a new word, it just made it bigger with new contacts, with new networking, with new things, new people and this kind of stuff. Well, uh, one thing I started to realize is I was playing music, 
many, many years since I was 12. Started doing yoga later in life when, in 1996. When I started doing yoga, I started to realize that everything was energy. So, my guitar created energy, created notes that were energy, that had the ability to affect other people based on my intentions, based on what I put out there in the world and what came from my heart, I could play music that could go out there and touch people in, in a very positive way because that was my intention. So I learned how to draw energy from the cosmos and incorporate it in my life and in my practice. Anytime I practice by myself or played a performance or concert, my intention was to let the energy move through me to give people what they needed to heal themselves. And I was just going to get out of the way. I get out of the way, energy work through me and touch people. And in this process of going to the heart, you're speaking from your heart on the Hatha Chakra is playing here with us. We go to Karkarashi, the cancer uh, sign of Zodiac. And how this process of touching people and uh, allowing this experience to come from divine cosmic forces and to touch the heart of people. How was this experience of touching other hearts and living this beautiful experience of realization and uh, sharing and an ananda and all this stuff? How did this went here inside you? How was this important? Please share. Sure. Well, I noticed because I started to get feedback from people, and people would say, you know, I came to this concert, and I, I don't really like the artist, but I came, and I didn't know why I was here, and then I, I saw you play, and the, a man who, a motorcycle, gang, rides a motorcycle, he said, you played guitar, and it touched me, and I started to cry, he said, I think you healed me. I said, it wasn't me healing you, it was the energy. So, by staying in a place of love, this, this energy is to be shared. It's to be shared with other people, it's not just for us. So the things that we do, it's important that we follow our heart, we follow what's important to us, but that it's also with the intention to be beneficial to everybody, not just me. So it's all about the heart here. Yes. And there was a person playing there also, right? There was a kind of star in the, in the stage there. Sure. And uh, we go to Simharashi, Lion, where the great stars are. So please share with people that, that person that you, you, okay. you sing and you play the guitar. Who was this person and how was this experience for you to be playing there with this energy that is going? How was this channel for you to express a kind of healing vibration there in that environment also? Please. Sure. Well, there was a few people, and I'll start with the first one and lead up to the person. The person. So, I started playing with Pink in 2001, and I had already been practicing yoga since 1996. After Pink, I played with Paulina Rubio from Mexico for one and a half years. After Paulina Rubio, I played with La Ley from Chile for three years. And then, 2006, I started playing with Beyonce. From 2006 to 2015, almost 10 years, I played with Beyonce. And she always wanted to put me out there in the front. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for BB. And I would, you know, do a solo. Every night she would call my name and let me do the solo. And I always said, I'm gonna let the solo just touch people. And I just, I got out of my body. And that lion, that Leo, that is not really normal me. I'm more introverted and I'm actually very shy. But when it's time to the energy express is there. the energy, I don't care. <laughs> And there, and you just have it. Just like the sun coming. Just like the sun coming right now. And 
you let it touch people. It's light. It's it's healing. It's love. It's power. It's encouragement. It's inspiration. It's and, giving life. Yes, yes. And it's not me. I let myself be a channel for this energy to move through me. And then we go to the sixth, sixth sign, uh, Virgo, Kanyarashi, where sometimes things get a little bit stressful. Maybe you work too much. Maybe there is too much obligations and you need to have some time to be not just like workaholic or overstress and this kind of stuff. So this like nine, almost ten years playing worldwide with Beyonce, was it a little bit too stressful? Was it a little bit difficult to keep your practice to yoga practice? How was this process to deal with this so much energy going on and keep your balance? Keep your lines straight, your yoga mat, well, how sure. is it? Well, yoga is a priority, period, the end. Yoga and taking care of myself is a priority. Eating properly, taking time for myself to be quiet, that's a priority. It's not, it's not uh, an option. So, I always keep my yoga practice on the road. However, it's very stressful. You're expected to work pretty much non-stop. You're practicing, you're in rehearsals, you're doing shows late at night. Sometimes we go on at midnight and we, we stop at 2 or 2.30 in the morning. And then we have to go to the hotel. And then we have to get on a plane, a train, a bus, and go to the next gig. So it's very stressful. And had I not had, had, I not had a yoga practice, had I not been eating living foods, I would not have been able to keep it up. I would have quit. And sometimes I wanted to, but I knew I had to keep going because I had something that wanted to be expressed through me. And until that contract I have with the universe, with the, the guru that's in me, then I keep going. So after almost 10 years, I thought, well, well, well I, I did a lot. I worked a lot. And I finally got to share my practices, the last tour, with my entire Beyonce team. They asked me, they said, hey, we notice when everyone's stressed out, you're peaceful, and we think it has to do with your lifestyle and your yoga. So the last tour, they asked me to share yoga, health, wellness, essential oils, angel cards, sage and sweet grass and herbs with them. And once I did that, I knew that my job was complete, and I'd say bye, and I'm here now to share wellness all around the world. I would like for, uh, that people that is watching to feel the essential oils that are coming during this interview, because she's completely therapeutic. Just for you to sit on her side, you get the therapy coming from her essential oils. Thanks for that. But. <laughs> I will try to make some arrangements sure, for people sure. to feel this experience. <laughs> now you tap into mm, lemongrass, and now we keep the interview. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, let's go to Tularashi, a Libra sign. The balance, the struggle for balance, actually, because Libra sign is not balance itself, it's the struggle mm -hmm. for balance. So this process, of the last one, two years of the tour and this kind of stuff, when you realize that the yoga was a kind of, let us say, mission that you could uh, share with people that are just living this rock and rolling stone style of life. How was this sensation of being helpful for those people there? Please share. That was the best tour of my life because People cared about how I live. I don't force my ideals on anyone, ever. I live by example, and I'm very transparent, I'm not perfect. So I let people see my flaws, my strengths, my weaknesses, everything. But when someone says, wow, you're doing something that I want, can you share it with all of us? And they want to know about it, that's very rewarding. You know, it's very rewarding. and. After that, when I was done, and now, for the past three years, I've been teaching yoga all over the world, sharing plant medicine all over the world, 
doing speaking all over the world so that balance that you're talking about I'm finding my balance because before it was all up here intense and then little yoga and then intense and now I want to stay here you know and I, I have my own life where I get to I get to work in environments with people like you that help keep me grounded and healthy so I'm not just always giving, 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 and sharing light and teaching people, but people also teach me, and people also inspire me. So I'm more balanced now, because I work in a wellness industry, where I work with people like you, but I also can share with people that don't know about these things. So that's balance. Yeah, that's balance.